Alrighty there pluckers, I have a sore fingers again with you with hopefully another interesting lesson for some of you, a lot of you probably already know about this song but uh, this is um, for those people who have never played it before um, so it's Twist and Shout by the Beatles of course uh, standard tuning, no capos, doing it in the same key as the Beatles now there are different ways of playing this uh, so uh, we'll just discuss a few options for you um, so the actual uh, obviously it's played on more than one guitar so it's not going to sound quite the same but what I was doing there was basically I was playing the lead up to the chord and it's very simple open at A string second on the fifth string fourth on the fifth string and then I'm hitting the D string open and then the D chord okay And then we play, there's different ways of playing this, but I'm going to show you the two ways. The G bar chord, two sort of down strokes on that, so. And then we go up to an A bar chord, so it's third fret bar chord for a G, fifth fret bar chord, major shape for the A, okay. And it's. So. Dum, 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 dum. All down strokes, okay. So it's and then just repeats. Okay, so that's using bar chords. I know some people use a bar chord for the D as well, but um, I'm trying to make it as simple as I can. Okay, so um. The other way, obviously, is to play like normal open chords, okay? Same thing to start with. And then two strokes on the G. Five or three fingers or four finger G, okay? Doubling up on the uh, top two strings on the third fret there, with the uh, pinky and third finger. Or you can just play a straightforward G, three finger G, okay? So, and then an A chord like that straightforward A chord or you could play a lazy A like that just barring the second fret or the fourth third and second strings with your first finger five down to uh, two really like that sort of thing so you could do it like okay whichever is easier or you like the sound or best okay then that so that goes all the way through the verses basically like that non-stop and then you get to the end of the verse and it, it ends up on an A and then it goes right so and you play that four times okay this little riff now this is the way I'm playing it there are different people will show you how to play this slightly differently different fingerings and also some people don't play the same double notes all the time that I'm playing so I think this is what's on the record as far as the notes are concerned it might be played in a slightly <coughs> different position on the neck but uh, this is the notes I think are correct so starting off with a double stops all double stops okay so two strings at once playing the fourth fret of the fourth string with my first finger and the fifth fret of the fifth string with my second finger so you sort of and then we move that shape down a string so now I'm playing the fourth fret of the third string with my first finger and the fifth fret of the fourth string with my second finger so it's da, da, da. so we've got two hits on that first one okay then we go up to this one I'm now playing the seventh fret of the third string with my first finger and ninth fret of the fourth string with my third finger okay just those two strings together so it's okay then we go down to this shape sixth fret of the third string first finger seventh fret of the fourth string with my second finger okay so now slowly So two hits on that first one, right, then we, what I do is this, this one, 
this is where I, I differ from a lot of people, but I think this is what I this is what I think is on the record. So I'm playing the fifth fret of the fourth string with my third first finger, and my third finger is playing the seventh fret of the fifth. It should sound like that. So now you've got this. Okay. And then finally the last two are that one again, which we played earlier. It's the fourth fret of the third and fifth fret of the fourth, first and second fingers. And the final one is that second fret of the third with the first finger and fourth fret of the fourth string, the D string, with the third finger. Okay, so now you've got this slowly. And that just repeats the whole thing four times, okay? So slowly. And then it goes into a sort of a lazy A or a lay. into the main verse riff again okay right then when you've done the uh, final verse obviously we come to the end of the song and the end of the song is based on another of these a chord build-ups with the harmonies layering up yeah so uh, you come out of the verse <laughs> stay on the A So what we're doing, so you just stay on that A at the end of the, when you've stopped singing the verse, you just stay on the A and you just chug away on down straight, whichever A, a bar chord or A chord or lazy A, whichever A you're playing, and you just go ah, 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 ah. and you do that final chunk on the A at the end of the harmonies. a very small pause and then it's right so build up on the A string the fifth string open A first fret of the A string second fret third fret fourth fret fifth fret and then it's a D9 to finish it off um, if you want you can do that three times that D9 or you can do it once just like once or you can go sort of thing whichever way you like to finish okay but the D ninth itself I'm playing the top three strings as a bar with my third finger on the fifth fret the first finger is playing the fourth fret of the D string the fourth string and my second finger is playing the fifth fret of the A string the fifth string that's the simple way of playing the D ninth okay if you want to get more completely slightly fuller sound you can bring in the bottom E string into the equation and by putting this second finger on the fifth string bottom and the sixth string so what I'm tending to do there is I'm, I'm putting down the sixth string at the fifth fret bottom E string leaning leaning in my second finger so it it frets the fifth string on the fifth fret as well it's not easy to do but you can with a bit of practice get that all six strings if you can't manage that just do the first five strings and play from five downwards okay no one will know but that is the all six strings by putting that second finger up on the bottom E string fifth fret leaning it in woods and hopefully fretting the fifth string at the fifth fret also but if not just play the first five strings okay so there you have the boys and girls my uh, 
tips for playing uh, Twist and Shout by the Beatles, okay? Um, uh, so hopefully you have some use to some of you. Probably not all of you, but some of you, hopefully. <laughs> See you in the next lesson. Bye for now.